When it comes to the local art scene, Cincinnati has a long list of storied institutions, and moving into the future will require some young blood. On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week, young arts patrons take the stage. Meet 10 up and coming movers and shakers who are providing a new vision to help guide Cincinnati's art scene. The future of the arts depends upon fresh perspectives and funding from new generations. Cincinnati is seeing increased involvement from a new crop of arts lovers who will make an impact for decades to come. One circle of philanthropists have dubbed themselves the 50. Members range in age from 25 to 45, and they help fund free admission at the Contemporary Arts Center. At Playhouse in the Park, at least four young board members continue a family tradition. Business Courier contributor Janelle Gelfand wrote the story and has been covering the art scene in Cincinnati for decades. She joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio to talk about the new generation of arts patrons. Janelle and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Janelle, thanks so much for being here. This is your first time on Business Watch. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for having me. And we're happy that you're covering the arts for the Business Courier. So. It. Paint a picture of these new patrons, because when I think of arts patrons, you know, I, I envision those portraits down at Music Hall of people back in the 1800s. That's not what we're looking at here. No, it's not, it's not your grandfather's arts patron. <laughs> right. They are young, they are vibrant, they are full of ideas, they are creative, um, and they are very successful in their business life. So they're coming from the business world, they're coming from, um, corporate America, from banking, from right. all walks of life, and they're bringing that energy that has made them a success in their careers to the table of these arts organizations. And the thing that I found the most inspiring when I got to meet them, and believe me, it was hard to pick just ten, yeah. and um, is that they are all wonderful artists in their own right. I mean, they each have some talent some creativity that um, speaks to what they're bringing to the arts. And they're very diverse, too. It's a diverse group of people. And it's, it's a diverse group of people, and they come from many different backgrounds, from old Cincinnati names that are familiar to mm -hmm. many people, to newcomers to our city who just want to make it a more vibrant, vibrant place to live. And how did they get onto the scene? Is it by invitation or is it they just decided this was important to them and this is where they moved into? You know, in the old days it used to be who you knew. Mm -hmm. You were invited to sit on a board because maybe you're from an important family or something. Those times have changed. Mm. Arts Wave has something called Board Way Bound that actually trains young potential board members, the ins and outs of the nonprofit world. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's a casual invitation, you know, from an office mate who says, hey, would you like to go to a concert and maybe sit in on a board meeting? Um, others do it out of a deep love for the arts and a commitment to our city. Mm -hmm. And they see the example of their parents and a, a long-standing tradition of supporting the arts and wanting to get involved. Awesome. Well, it's a really interesting list of 10 arts patrons that you um, that you write about. So be sure to pick up the print edition you want to read about each one. Janelle, thanks for being here, and hopefully we'll get you back again. Thank you.